things get really stressful when we start combining negative and fractional indices. People can get fucked up when they see these. But I'm going to make it nice and simple for you so you don't screw up. So we're just going to take things one at a time here. 9 to the minus half. We'll just deal with the negative power first. So remember, a negative power does not mean the number becomes negative, okay? It means we make 1 over 9 to the half. And what, does power, what does a power of half do? It means a square root. Remember flower power? Number on the bottom is the root. So what is the square root of 9? 1 over 3. So let's just break it up. Deal with the negative power first, then the, then the actual numerical value, whether it be a fraction or, or not. Here, 16 to the minus 3 quarters. We deal with the negative straight away. 1 over 16 to the 3 quarters. Now, this means the fourth root of 16, then cubed. What is the fourth root of 16? Now, you need to know your powers of 2. Okay? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. It goes on. You need to know these. The fourth root of 16 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. So it's going to be 1 over 8. Remember, fourth root cubed. Now here, don't stress if we've got a fraction to the power of a negative fraction. It's going to be okay. Remember, a negative power finds the reciprocal, flips it upside down. So just deal with that bit first. So that's going to create 49 over 25, still to the power of a half but now to the power of a positive half because we've dealt with the negative. Power of a half means square root. Square root that and that. That gives us 7 over 5. See how easy this becomes when we just break it down? Once again, deal with the negative power first. Flip that shit upside down. 8 over 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Cube root both of them, which gets 2 over 3. Then square that which gets 4 over 9. Easy!